Welcome to the scissors gif in video one, how to make a gif in Photoshop. First thing you need to do is you need to go into the classroom and download the scissors image from the scissors gift assignment. Sometimes when you download something in Google Chrome or Google Classroom, you have to hit the three dots and open it in another page and then download it. Sometimes that happens on classrooms when we uh, copy them. So once you have the scissors uh, image downloaded to your machine, what you want to do is you want to bring it into Photoshop. So now you got to find out where it downloaded. Did it download to the downloads folder? Did it download to your desktop? Just remember that it's in one of those two. So go ahead and open that in Photoshop. Um, to do that, go ahead and hit the open button and then find your file and open it. Now we're inside of Photoshop. Basically what we want to do is we're going to make this scissors look like it's cutting on its own. So what we want to do is we want to use the lasso tool and we want to very carefully um, lasso around this first part of the scissors, the one that is closest to us. So here's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm kind of a little bit messy but then I get really really um, careful right where the two scissors pieces um, kind of overlap. The rest of it not so much because we can come back and we can erase some of the background there. Then when I come back to the other side we're going to be just as careful on the other side and then you have this particular piece lassoed. What you want to do next is you want to copy it. So copying, remember, is go up to File, Edit, and Copy. Before you do that, you might want to make an extra new layer, but remember that Photoshop is going to make a new layer when you paste automatically. So then what you want to do is copy, so Command-C, or go up to File, Edit, and Copy. Then move to the new layer and paste, or if you're going to paste straight away, go ahead and paste it and it should make a new layer automatically. Double check by turning off the little eye icon in the layers palette, and then we need to do a little bit of refinement on this image. So what we want to do is we're going to go in and we're actually going to use our uh, eraser and we're going to go to the magic eraser and what you want to do is you want to get rid of all of the white space that is around the outside of this scissors piece. So now we have the scissors piece that was nearer to us isolated on layer one and on layer two we still have the original drawing. Once we have that isolated what we want to do is we're going to erase a little bit of the other um, drawing. Now, I made a mistake in this video and I actually um, started erasing on the wrong layer. It is the layer I want to erase on, but I can't really see it because I've got this other layer over the top. So what you want to do is you want to turn off layer one and then erase all the way to the center section. Now we don't really care about what's underneath um, in the center section, but you you should care um, how uh, close this is um, because it may show when we actually do this. What you can do is you can use click, shift, click to make a very straight line and then just go in and erase the rest. Remember you're erasing to a white background. Now we have the bottom piece isolated on the bottom layer and we have the uh, top piece on the top layer. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start making a series of images that are animating the scissors shutting. Okay, so now we're going to do a bulk of the work in animating. So we want to make sure that this is right over the top of the bottom piece of the scissors. And what we're going to do is we're going to save this and then we're going to use free transform on layer one. All we're going to do is we're just going to rotate it, go to the edge of the free transform bounding box and pull the corner just a little bit 
down towards the bottom of the screen. That will start to rotate things. Then we need to save the file. So we want to save as, we're going to call this scissors1. Once we have that saved, we're going to go ahead and make sure that it's Photoshop. That's actually saving the layers. We'll kind of do a little bit of change into this um, on the next uh, part of this particular um, demo. And then what you want to do is you want to continue rotating that scissors and saving every time. Remember that save as is the way that you can make a copy of something without copying over the top of your previous image. Do not save. It will just save over the top and then you'll have to go back and redo it. Okay, so again, you're going to have to go to free transform every time you want to kind of rotate this shut so that we give the appearance that the scissors is shutting. So I will speed this up so that it, it uh, goes a little faster, but you should have somewhere around six or seven um, images. It doesn't matter. The, the, the slower that you rotate or the less that you rotate, the slower your scissors are actually going to move and the probably the um, smoother they're going to look. It's totally up to you. I'm going to do about six images. Um, and you will be a little bit off the paper, which is okay. Um, but just continue rotating and applying and then saving as and numbering your images. So once you have all of your six images kind of rotated, you should have a series that are starting to close these scissors. And I sped this up a little bit for you so you didn't have to watch me do it all. But uh, once we get to the end of this, then you should have a closed scissors. Um, once you have a series of closed scissor images, you need to make sure that you know where those are in your computer, and then you're ready for part two.